We're in phase three of our master plan to completely reimagine the museum. And this next phase, we're working on the mansion. We're redoing the exhibits in there. And one of the things we're doing is creating a new permanent gallery for the circus. On the second floor of the mansion, we'll be able to do an entire gallery dedicated just to the circus. So we'll be able to talk more about science and the history of circuses in general and put it in a better context. Well, the miniature circus is one of the largest artifacts that we have at the Pink Palace, and it was built by Clyde Park who moved to Memphis in 1895 and worked as a bookkeeper in town until the Great Depression when he lost his job. And when the Great Depression happened, he decided that he had a lot more time to dedicate to the circus. And so he started carving it. And from 1931 to about 1937, he spent about 60,000 hours working on the circus. Something I think is really interesting about the circus is he made a lot of it with what he had on hand. So the box cars, these right here are made out of cigar boxes. And then a lot of the figures are made out of, carved out of pine, but it's pine that he salvaged from different packing crates. And then things like the cages on all of the menagerie cars or coat hangers. And the hay that's in the back lot is grass that he baled from his front yard. The circus was never meant to run continuously. So it was only supposed to be done for special occasions. And over the years of it being here, it had worn out. And so the physics department did a lot of really great work to get it running again, but that was several years ago. And so we were at the point now where the circus was no longer running. Attempting to run it was gonna hurt the artifact. So through a generous grant from the Plow Foundation, we are in the process of restoring it. And so Tim Giles, who's a master carpenter, is in charge of the restoration. And what we're doing is everything that's above the platform, we're leaving the same. Our conservator is cleaning it, and we're doing minimal, minimal restoration to that. And then everything underneath, Tim is replacing, so that the circus will be able to run more frequently. It will never run continuously, but we'll be able to run it on a certain schedule and for special occasions.